So this is my review of the Dewalt battery, the Hercules tool adapter. So here it is. Um, it is plastic injection molded. It do, does have two pins for the Dewalt battery. And then on top is the Hercules part that plugs into the tool. Some of these you find online are 3D printed. This one is injection molded. Seems of a little bit higher quality. So, and the eBay seller had promised that it works with Hercules tools, and he showed me a, a quick video of it working for about one or two seconds on some Hercules tools. So, I thought I'd give it a shot. So the question is, why would I even use these adapters? Why not just use the Hercules tools? Well, I bought this bandsaw. This is a 20 volt, five inch deep cut bandsaw. Um, the Dewalt equivalent of this is $300. I was able to get this for around $60, $70 when it was on sale. So that's huge savings. Um, I feel like if you're going to buy a lot more Hercules tools, you might as well just buy the batteries and all the adapters and power adapters and chargers and things of that nature. But if you only own one or two Hercules tools, I feel like trying to use one of these adapters for whatever existing batteries you might already have would be the way to go rather than investing in a brand new ecosystem. So here's my review of giving a shot at one of these adapters, see how they work. So I'm gonna try it on a six amp one. And before I try it, I'm gonna show you it, the tool working with the five amp. So this five amp is halfway charged. This is, I'll plug it into the tool, and the bandsaw here and trigger button and we'll just turn it on. And you can see it works, no issue. So, Because the tool is brand new, so of course it should work. <laughs> so now we'll take this battery adapter and slide it onto the Dewalt. And it clicks into place, real good connection, solid. I mean, this is 6 amps, pretty heavy. And then we'll plug it onto the tool, the bandsaw. And click it into place. So it slides in there perfect, fits really nice. Um, but we'll give it a trigger pull and see what it does. Oh, LED's flashing. So it's airing out. So it ran for about one or two seconds and it's airing out. So the, I asked the seller about this. He said, oh, just take the thing out and clear the capacitors in the tool and try again. And try to cycle it a few times. Supposedly the tool can learn. This adapter can learn. To adjust, but I don't believe that. So I asked the seller, so maybe I have a defective one. Um, maybe you could send me another one. So that is what he did. He sent me another adapter, and this one's actually different. It's yellow on the outside versus the red on this one. And so I'm going to slide the red one off. And I have some other Dewalt batteries here to test. So this is a, a 4 amp. I'll we'll test it with that same adapter really fast. So 4 amp. Click it on. Pull the trigger. And it airs out again. So the tool does not like the adapter at all. So we'll try this new adapter he sent. Thinking I maybe I got a defective one. You probably see where I'm going with this. So here's the new one he sent. Slide that one on to the 6 amp. Again, solid construction. Clips on nicely. Or even clear the capacitors on the tool. Pull the trigger. Hold it a few times. Click it into place. Again, air out. I'm going to wait for the LED to go away. And if I pull the trigger immediately, doesn't like it. It won't even run the blade anymore. It won't do anything unless I disconnect it. I disconnect it. Reconnect it real quick. Yep. Just not compatible tool. The adapter doesn't like the battery. Something's not communicating properly there. Um, just to show the tool is not broken now. Here's the Hercules one. Pull the trigger. No problem. So yeah, if you're, if you're looking to buy these eBay adapters, I think I would hold off for now. 
Um, I think they still have some homework to do on them. So I took both of these Dewalt battery to Hercules tool adapters apart. Um, so this is the original one, the one on the left here, the circuit board that came out of it that the seller had sent me. And then this is the second one he sent me. Supposedly it was revised and it has a, a yellow base instead. So the base is yellow versus red. Otherwise they're identical appearance wise. Um, you can see here, these are the Dewalt connectors that connect to the battery. And then there's two terminals on the bottom. And they do have a circuit board on here. So it's not just pure connecting the positive and negative terminals. They are trying to account for the Dewalt internal terminals that are used for temperature monitoring and voltage control and things of that nature. So on the board, you can see there is an IC with a, four, a few probes. I'm going to probe those for a second to see if I can tell any difference. Um, there's a model number on this board. And if we look at the newer adapter he sent me, they appear to be the same circuit board. And then just looking at the actual board itself, it appears to be identical. Same. It has IC also. And we'll just probe both of those, see what kind of resistance values we get. I think I read online, you can bypass these Dewalt batteries and a lot of tools if you put the 10K resistors on there. Um, but I think you still need the thermal resistor, the temperature resistor in these tools so the tools can detect if the battery is overheating or not, which I think is why these are not working because the battery is not able to communicate with the tool to tell it its temperature reading. But we'll just probe this one, so I'm going to put on the IC here, I'm just probing the bottom there. Get some resistance values for you. So like three and a half, three and a half, and 10. So there's the 10K resistor, it does have it on there. And we'll check the second one here. Same, same. I'm well, not being precise here because this is an auto mode and there's going to be some variances. Uh, so that's a 10 too. So it's the same. So yeah, these boards are the same. The eBay seller has been very responsive. He sent me uh, a second adapter for free to test out to see if my first one was defective. Um, neither one are working in the tool. They both operate the same and neither one of them are successful in the Hercules tools. So he is issuing a refund. I told him to please reach out. If you do have a new design and you get it to work with your with his Hercules tools when he tests it, I'd be happy to do a follow-up video if these do end up working out. But until then, thank you.